Welcome back to Tropicana Bonsai. I'm here with my Portulacaria Afro Bonsai. I'm going to trim it and style it today and defoliate it. Stay tuned. You already know. Let's get right into it. Let's start off with a defoliation. Let's cut off all these leaves with my shears that I got right here. We're going to cut it next to the stem. Keeping a little meat on, of course, to allow the leaf to shrivel back a little bit, to not disturb the dormant bud that wants to come right out. Let's hit it with the fast cam. No time to waste. Sorry for the interruption, but I had to butt in. So basically this tree just reminds me of the haircuts that people are doing nowadays like half their head is shaved and the other side is fully grown out as you can see with the jade right now it kind of reminds me of like the britney spears when she's shaving her head completely bald like there's photos of her with her half her head is shaved off it's crazy if you know what i'm talking about comment down below leave britney alone so soon I'm going to start using my hands. I'm just going to start pinching off the leaves instead of with the shears. Honestly, with the Portuguese Afro or the Jade Bonsai, you can just pinch off the leaves. Or you want to be really precise, but you can also use the shears, but it will take you a little bit longer. But using your hands is much more quicker. Just wash your hands. Uh, you know, your hands are dirty. Just want to keep everything clean, of course. Especially during these times with the CV out there. And um, you don't want the tree to get that. If that's even possible. So I'm basically almost done. Tree's basically completely defoliated. Soon I'll be getting into the the wiring of it. At this point, we're completely defoliated the tree. As you can tell, some branches are pointing up to the sky. Um, we got to correct that and wire the tree uh, to bring back the shape of the bonsai. So we got some aluminum wire and we're going to use one strip of wire to wrap two branches. So one wire anchors to one branch and the other anchors to the other to save wire and not be wasteful. The key to wiring a bonsai is you want to wrap the branches in a 45 degree angle and as you're coiling the wire around the branch you want to support the wire as well to limit the chance of the branch to uh, snap on you and also when it's a thicker wire um, it's kind of more difficult to wire the branch and especially with the portrait caryophora when the branches are so soft because it's basically a succulent and there's not much woodiness to it so you want to be really careful and not break any branches at this point i mean just cut off any excess from the wire that's left behind if you have any questions, just comment down below. I'll be happy to answer you guys. As I'm pulling out the wire, I'm measuring about how much wire I would need. So I'll just measure branch to branch to see how much wire I would need. I usually anchor the branch from the bottom and coil one side, and then I'll coil the other side. Once I know that the wire is on both sides, then I'll completely wire one branch to wire the other. I mostly do this because I've always noticed when I have thicker branches to wire, I, if I just wire one side and then try to wire the other side, the wire just keeps bouncing up and down and I don't feel like the branch is actually moving to the direction I want. Alright, enough of me talking and back to the fast cam.
Awesome, we got the bottom left branch basically all done. Now we're gonna be working on the right bottom branch. I'm gonna start zooming in a little bit to show you how I'm wiring this branch. So I wired one side of the branch with one piece of wire, and then I'm gonna be wiring that same wire with the other branch. A frequently asked question in the art of bonsai is why do people use wire? So the point of the wire is to train the trees to go in the form that you kind of want. It's just like dentistry where the wire basically pulls the teeth to go in the direction that it wants. And the same thing in bonsai. We use the wire to bend the branches in the direction that we want. After a certain amount of time, and then we remove the wire so it can hold that position. Just like with braces, the, your teeth are like straight, but they keep the wire on for a little bit longer so it maintains the alignment. Thank you guys for watching. This is the end of my work with the Portrait Carry Afro Bonsai. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Like if you liked the video and subscribe for more content. Thank you.